Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Zoetis. Supply and demand fundamentals shift when the U.S. beef cow herd enters an expansion phase. Providing moisture conditions improve throughout 2014, this could be considered the first year in a multi-year expansion phase. Over the last two weeks, we've discussed expansion's influence on cow slaughter, as well as heifer sales in the calf and feeder cattle market. The final topic in this series focuses on feed yard inventories and beef production during cow herd expansion. Feed yard inventories are a reflection of available feeder cattle and calf supplies. During expansion years, cow-calf producers tend to keep more heifers for replacement females and fewer reach feed yards and later beef supply segments. A smaller percentage of heifers selling at auction is the first step in a trend that flows throughout later segments. The USDA Cattle on Feed report showed January 1st percentage of heifers and heifer calves on feed reached its lowest level since 2006. It's also the last time the U.S. beef cow herd expanded. Expect the percentage of heifers on feed to decline further as producers continue to keep more heifers on ranches. Similarly, as the percentage of heifers on feed falls, the percentage of heifers in the fed cattle slaughter mix also declines. This trend has become more obvious in recent weekly USDA slaughter data. Heifers have accounted for 37% of year-to-date 2014 fed cattle slaughter. This compares to 38% during the same period last year and nearly 39% over the last 10 years. That one percentage point difference accounts for about 4,000 head fewer heifers entering into beef production each week on a year-to-date fed cattle slaughter make. Fed slaughter levels have been running about 20,000 head per week below year-ago levels over the last 12 weeks. That suggests the decline in heifer slaughter accounts for more than one-fifth of the year-to-date decline. Expect a smaller supply of available heifers to continue to have an increasing influence on smaller feed yard inventories and beef supplies as expansion efforts intensify. The fed cattle market was not established at recording time, but market sentiment suggests trade will occur at lower price levels compared to last week. Live prices were at $150 to $152 per hundredweight in the south and $152 to $154 in the north last week. Feeder cattle values this week were mostly $5 higher. Calf prices ended the week in a full range of $5 per hundredweight lower to $2 higher. Lightweight calves experienced the full extent of the price declines. Slaughter cows traded steady to $5 lower, and box beef cutout values dropped $7 per hundredweight as increasing supply and weaker demand pressured cut values universally lower. Corn prices pushed higher after Monday's bullish USDA, grain stocks, and prospective planting reports. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefacts.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattle Facts, the deciding factor.